All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Halos and Heroes, and we're going to dive right into the end of uh, the warning live at the Metropolitan Theater, and I hope you guys enjoy. We're starting with money, and we're going to work our way through, so let's see what happens. Okay, so let's talk about it really quick. The song itself, obviously, is about consumerism, commercialism, and the price we pay <coughs> for our greed. Um, the musicality of it was great for middle of the concert. Um, this is a, a mid-energy song. There's a, there is not a lot of um, variance to the tempo. It doesn't speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down like a lot of their other songs do. But that's okay. They don't all have to. Um, and like I said, the lyrics of it are pretty straightforward. <clears throat> I think this is a good song in terms of messaging because we have, we've become a very um, um, money hungry and consumer based society. What we want, we get when we want it. Um, the value of um, 
delayed gratification is is long past between social media and buying it on credit it, it's right there for us so um i really like this song and like i said i think it fits well in this track uh notice the green lighting here at the end is color of money as well so there's a lot of symbolism placed in this song um, we're gonna move on to Revenant and before we do I want to point out that I have um, put some opacity on the video primarily because uh, these are now moving into the UMG territory. They have already put a partial block on some of the music. I I can dispute it because it's fair use and I do add value to each song. But at the same time and respecting their wishes, I'm going to make it a little easier to get these videos pushed through, especially since I'm sick and I don't want to be sitting up a lot. So... Let's keep going, Revenant. Ciudad de México. Ahora con mucho orgullo invitamos al escenario a nuestro invitado, el primo Pliego Villarreal. Primo, 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 primo. Weird. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like it. I like the acoustic setup already. Good. 
Wow, that was haunting. Very stripped down. Um, Pow proving yet again why she's a phenomenon, not just on the drums, but vocally as well. Um, I, I like how minimal that song was and yet how powerful. You can't erase what's been done. You can forgive, you can move on, but we can't escape the tide of our cruel mistress keeping time. You know, say goodbye to all the others, get, call it closed, and crunch the numbers, wash your hands and wash your feet, walk on water. So, I mean, there's religious ties to this as well. But, you know, you can, you can spend your whole life running away from your responsibilities. You can spend your whole life running away from the, the demons that plague you. But at the end of the day, those demons are still there. Whether you hide them behind drugs and alcohol or run from them, you know they're going to be there. And the best thing and the hardest thing to do is to face them. Challenge them, face them. You know, you can... It's hard, but it's harder to keep running, especially when you get to be my age. You know... You get to my age and you're just like, I, I can't. My physical health is failing. My mental health was failing. I mean, at what point do we just stop and go, you know what, enough is enough. This is this is too much. Too much. And that's, that's where I'm at. Um, we're going to move into the Kool-Aid Kids. And... My goal is to finish this today. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm pulling up lyrics in case anybody's curious. And I hope everybody can hear me. <laughs> very cute very humble of them but very cute What are we getting into now? <laughs> Funky.
Ah, you guys knew I'd have a lot to say about this one. Social commentary is always one of my favorite subjects, and you're not wrong. Again, we started out very bass-centric, and I love the way that they that they do that. Um, it continues to tickle me. Um, but more importantly, the song is about not just accepting everything at face value, especially on social media. Now... In recovery, they teach us about a concept called radical acceptance, which would seem to counter, be counterintuitive to that logic. And let me explain why it's not. Um, things within our control are within our control. We we are able to question, and you know, if somebody tells us to believe something, we don't necessarily have to believe it. You know, we don't have to accept it. Um, there is the part of us that, you know, we can look at something and go, okay, I don't believe that, that makes no sense to me, and then we move on. And then there's another part of us where we may not believe it, but it's, you know, it may also be something that's out of our control, something we can't change even if we got to the truth of it, even if we got to the root of it, even if there is a root of it. Um, and I think that when we find something that we can question that's within our control, that matters to us, and is relevant to our lives, then yeah, we, we should question it. Um, but if finding out the answer to it is not going to do anything to better our lives, um, or those around us, then meh, meh. But don't just drink the Kool-Aid, don't blindly follow, don't, don't do what you're told because they told you to do it. You know? Um, look. I, I am in a facility where I am limited as to my choices, and I'm still doing my research regardless. You know? Even though my parameters are very limited as to what I can do, I am still doing my research. And that's all I can do. And that's all I can recommend for you guys. So we are going to move on to Hunter. I really like that song. I like the political, as the social aspect of that as well. Um, musicality uh, you know we go from um, a very stripped down song with Revenant uh, to you know a little bit more energy with Kool-Aid Kids a little more social um, I don't think that there is a topic that these women do not cover and do their best to bring it to life and I, I just I'm continued to be impressed and amazed and I thank you guys for following me on this journey. I, I, I cannot believe that we have gone through four albums worth of music together. Um, three albums, sorry. Three albums worth of music. 
and I mean essentially four albums because we went through all of uh, almost all of their early stuff I didn't do the piano stuff when they were really young um, I did watch that on my own and I did appreciate it I, I just um, I wanted to bring what I felt would be a highlight reel and I've enjoyed the journey and this is uh, no exception so we're moving on to the hunter La noche no se acaba aún. Estamos listos para seguir rojeando. Una vez más estamos listos para seguir rojeando. Gracias. A ver si se acuerdan de esta canción, Ciudad de México.
Well, let's spend too much time on that one. Um, I had to look, but I did figure out that that is, in fact, from the Queen. Um, and I remember that song distinctly because it has that blondie feel to it. And I really, really like that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go through that one fairly quickly. I did appreciate it and enjoy it. However, we are going to be moving on to Air, um, which I know is from the new album, and one that you guys have said is absolutely worth. I mean, they're all worth watching. We all know this. Everything the warning does touches, records, covers, etc. is worth watching. I'm not saying that at all. But we're being dismissive. Um, but we are going to move on to error nonetheless. And again, I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, much love. Give me just a second and I will be diving. All right. We are going to be diving into error. I look forward to this. We'll see what happens. I had to take a break for a minute.
I really like that. Um, let's start that back at the beginning. You want people to love you. It's encoded in your greed. I will give you. I will give the power, but I need you to cede control. Uh, human nature in question, flawed and broken in silence. It's never the intention, just progress. You don't read the side effects, and now you want us to connect. It's never truly wrong to want to grow. What do you want to know? I'm the error inside. I'm at the end of the day in borrowed time. Everybody must die. It's the freedom of choice that kills the mind. I mean, yes. Yes. We all have the ability to make decisions for ourselves, good, bad, and otherwise. We make good decisions, we make bad decisions, we have shitty days, and we have good days. Um, at the end of the day, we all, we all, uh, we all live with those choices, we live with those decisions, we live with whether they were good, bad, or otherwise, we live with them. And we can sit back and let them drive us insane, or we can choose to work through them, rectify them, move past them, and if they do come back, then we reflect on them, but we don't ruminate. Because otherwise, it will eat us alive. And, okay, I'm going to translate that to English. I'm probably not going to get the most comprehensive version of the English translation. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I'm, some of this is going to get lost on this next one. This is Narcissista. Um, bear with. I think for that last one, though, the music... Uh, was definitely a lot more upbeat. We're moving towards the end of the set now. Um, you know, we, we made it through Error, and then we got Narcista. Um, Mer I'm gonna mess this one up. Martirio, and then Evolve. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're we're heading to the end, and we're we're just uh, we're on a collision course to say the least. So musically. I love that blend of rock and punk and kind of that old school feel. Some Blondie, Debbie Harry going on. It's awesome.
You know, it's funny, I didn't have any trouble following the lyrics on that whatsoever. And yeah, I had them pulled up, but I think the the expression that she had going throughout pretty much told everything that needed to be spoken at that point. I mean, wow. Yeah, your good intentions always come out and talk. Behind the curtains, they keep talking. I don't try anymore because I already know. So basically, it's about gossip and people calling her a narcissist and her or them a narcissist or being narcissistic and just basically, like, I've already heard it. I hear it all the time. You know, run your freaking mouth. It doesn't matter to me anymore. I don't care. That guitar solo was absolutely awesome. Um, the drummer... Um, I'm not sure who he is, but man, he came in. I mean, granted, I got no problem with Pow. She's awesome. Um, but Pow during doing the vocals right there, holy cow, she was just like a ball of energy the whole time. Um, crowd cr crowd control. I mean, they all have it. But between Pow and Danny, the two of them just got absolute massive amounts of crowd control. Um, even Ale is is being featured and showcased here. So I mean, keep it up, guys. This is this has been incredible, as always. Um, we're moving into, yeah, um, Martirio. Sometimes the obvious things are the hardest to see. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, this was an absolutely amazing song. I am absolutely. This concert has been a blessing, and once we get done with this, we're going to go ahead and move into some of the single tracks. I want to pull up the VMA and do that one, so we're going to dive into the last two on this one, and then we'll be done.
some kind of transition here. Um, I'm going to kind of speed through it here a little bit. That was a beautiful song. It's better to die in the hands of goodbye. If you have to live in fear, it's better to die in the hands of goodbye. I like that. Yeah, never, ever, 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 ever. Um, fight for the things you believe in. 
fight for the things you believe in and the the expression I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees fits here um, yeah it's just absolutely not worth giving up your freedom to to submit to a life that may or may not matter you know I mean, fight for what you believe in, fight for what you love, do what you can, and, um, do what you want, do all you can, break all the effing rules, and go to hell with Superman, and die like a champion, yeah, hey, that's from Bad Religion, from back in 1980, um, any rate, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, but that, musically speaking, was beautiful. I like the lyricism, the poetry of it. I like the guitar solo, it was beautiful. The through and through bass line. Um, one very unique thing about this band and, and a few others that I listen to is that the bass player matters. And I'm not saying the bass player doesn't matter in every band. But what I'm saying is the bass player in this band definitely plays an instrumental part of the com composition of the music. Bands like Suicidal Tendencies and um, Rancid, Op Ivy, and Streetlight Manifesto, Catch-22, um, definitely utilize the bass for what it what it's worth and I am very impressed at that, that, that Ale continues to be such an integral part of the band and never overlooked or underutilized so we're gonna go ahead and dive into the last song on the album or this the last song in this set which is Evolve which is good because then I'm gonna go lay down again um, so we're diving into Evolve, which is the last song on the set list. And I think I just screwed it up. Alright, hold on. Let me get back to it. There we go. Alright. This should be good. Let's round this out.
All right, guys. I'm gonna let it play out, let the credits roll. That was an awesome song. Um, and I apologize for the mo momentary distraction. Check this out, right? I was told that if I'm recording a video, which is what I'm doing, that I just put a sign on my door that says recording, and then no questions asked, I wouldn't be interrupted. So I just got interrupted to ask if I put the recording sign on my door stating that I'm recording. Anyway. Um, That was a great way to round out that set with that song Evolve. Um, you don't know how bad I'll get, it'll get to sim a simple moment to forget. I'm not in danger, I'm the danger. Gold shall not define your worth, it's not destruction, it's rebirth. I'm not in danger, I'm the danger now. So basically, going from a, being a victim in your own life to taking control of your life and becoming something more, making something out of the pain and the pieces, <laughs> picking yourself up and applying them and it's absolutely the right message to go out on with this um, with the song with the set um, I'm gonna let the credits play through here in a minute because I always get told I, I pause it too soon and then I miss something but I do need to let a few minutes go through before I finish this because otherwise I mean, I may already get, I may have to struggle with this video as it is, but that's okay. You guys are worth it. And so is the warning. Um, I'm very impressed. This has been another amazing set, and these girls continue to impress. So um, let's go ahead and let the credits roll through. I'll throw some final comments in there at the end, and then... You know, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments, and as soon as I'm feeling a little better, I'll get back to responding to everybody. <laughs> but until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I mean, just look at how humble they are, seriously. You know, they're thanking the crowd, thanking their family, thanking their parents. You know, they're the ones up there doing all the hard work. They're, all the, they're the ones that are out there kicking ass and taking names daily. And yet, they're so humble and so fan-oriented, family-oriented, that it grounds them every single set. And it's incredible to see. Bringing their crew out on stage too. You don't see that very often, but those are the people that do the behind the scenes work. They got the rigging and the lighting and, and stage management and making sure that, you know, all the the lights and the, the sets are set perfectly, the screens are up and, you know, they do so much work before the show even starts. It's insane. Pero, pero como que no me siento.
siento profesional, pero estos dedos te digo, oye, pues, lo Ay, cosilleo de nervio en Metropolitan. Nuestro amigo, el botón, botón. Play. Estamos en sí. Ah, ruido de tripié. ¡Ey! Foto tomada. Me voy a mucho rollo. Uh, taking stage direction, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into these shows. There really is. And I know, I, I know that there are some artists out there that are like, ah, you don't tell me where to stand, and... Blah, 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 blah. But these ladies are like, okay, you want me here? Good to go. I'll be right there. Moto mami. ¿Cuántos simis creen que se vayan a llevar? Ahorita fácil con <laughs> Look at that. Eternal thanks to all of our fans that listen to our music and go to our concerts. We could never do this without you. We love you. That's awesome. That's love right there. And, you know, to all of you watching this right now, I really appreciate you being here. I say it, but I mean it. I do. I think that's going to be the end of this. Yeah. So, the takeaway from this is that this has been an amazing show. Every time that I get to spend time with you guys is, is wonderful. I hope you enjoy. My pronunciations may be off. My breakdowns, my analyses may not always be on point. My heart is in the right place. The music continues to touch and inspire me. And I hope that it, it does the same for you. And as always, if you guys ever need to reach out, you know I'm here. Um, thank you, as always, for being here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just know I love you. You're not alone. I care. <laughs>